All right, so now what is going to be a little quick summary video of the trig ratio identities that are the Pythagorean identities. There was three of them that we arrived at, this one, this one, and this one. And remember, they can be shown in different forms, but you can uh, mark those ones down on your cheat sheet if you want to. Okay, how do we hit those? Let's go real quick. We start with a triangle. This is for A. Um, well, Pythagorean theorem is this. Okay, well, we have A and B, so... And we remember we can divide through by the same value each way, and it won't change the, it won't disrupt the equalness there. Should have had those brackets in beforehand, then we realize that this is quite simply sine squared plus cosine squared equals one squared, or sine sine squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha equals one. Okay, simple as that. that that's just how easy the first one was. Hit the first video if you need a refresher. Okay, just like that. Now. For B, all we did, first of all, I can't remember if we divided through, I think we divided through everything by sine, sine squared alpha. Okay, if we do this, we're, if we divide through by the same value on each term, we're maintaining the truthness, the truthfulness of the equal sign, it's still truth. And that's how we arrived at that one. How did we get C? Well, what other value is there? Cosine. We divide through everything by cosine theta squared. Sorry, the, the precise thing there. The precise uh, value, cosine squared theta. We divide it through by this. We used what we knew about our basic trig identities, reciprocal identities, worked it out, canceled that to be 1, da 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 da, and ended up with C. Okay? So here's your three Pythagorean trig identities summary, how we got them. The previous videos explain in more depth how we got them. What you need to remember is that no principle was used greater than a grade uh, 9 principle, and that was the actual Pythagorean theorem. The rest of this messing around was all... Hello? The rest of this messing around was actually just simple grade 7 maneuvering equations and stuff like that. Somebody's trying to break into my classroom. Oh, I'm going to freak out. <laughs>